All right, so I'm doing something new today. I'm gonna to answer a question on Unity 3D with the video, and we'll see how this actually goes. So, um, that guy remember me writes, how do I achieve a laser effect? Like the classic Star Wars laser, how can this be done? So there's a few answers already. Um, the appropriate answer here actually is from um, uh, Briar Cam. Sorry if I pronounce that in incorrectly. Um, try using the line renderer. Um, the line renderer, however, is kind of a strange little component, and so I'm going to go over how to actually set this up and how to make it look pretty good. So uh, let's start a new project. Um, probably should have done this before I started recording, but whatever. Documents, laser. And yes, I misspelled laser because I'm into the Z in a laser. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of create an object that basically represents your little laser bolt. And so you're going to create an empty game object. And once you've done that, I'm just going to zero out his position so that it's easier to understand what's going on here. And we're going to click component, effects, line renderer. Now, the line renderer is not terribly useful when you first first set it up and I'm going to show you all the reasons that it's not useful. First of all is this pink square thing. You're, you're going to be like this is our laser that looks terrible and yes it does look terrible right now. So you're going to also notice something really terrifying. If you hit the move things here you'll see that the values are changing here but the laser has not changed position. This is because for whatever reason by default it says use world space. So what happens here is this thing has a set of vertices. So you can actually make this multi-segment. We're going to just do two vertices because the laser is just a line in Star Wars, at least. Um, so, so you can adjust these values and it will move and change. So, like if we if we set the end value to negative three point nine and then change its position, you'll you'll see how it's all changing in real time there. So I'm going to set this back to what defaults to, which is one in the z direction, and we're going to turn off use world space. Now, when we move the position, it actually pays attention to the position information, which we care about. The other thing is, it never pays attention to scale. The scale value does not do anything. Oh wait, no, I lied. Okay, you can scale it, I guess, but it doesn't work like you'd expect it to. So just leave the scales at one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it two, negative two in the Z uh, for the first one and two in the Z for the other. Actually, let's make it a little bit longer. Let's go for four and negative four. And the reason I do this is so that it's more like a regular object where you're working from the center of the object. So what we're going to do now is, um, oh, good morning, Chris. Oh, I'm yeah, I know. Um, that's, that's fine. I'm on, I'm recording something right now. Anyway, so, um, what we're going to do now is now we have a laser that we can basically work with here, but it, it looks terrible still. So we need to actually give it a uh, material. So we're going to create a new material and we're going to set it to um, particles additive. And we're going to attach it to our laser here. So now, now our laser is white. Now we could um, just make it red here. And you have kind of a lasery thing. It, it doesn't look perfect from every angle, but if it's in motion, no one's going to notice. Um, and now what we're going to do instead, though, is we want to actually make this look good. So, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add a texture. So one of the ones that's in here is default particle, and this gives you kind of an idea of what we're going for. So if you if you switch to default particle, you've got now this red kind of lasery thing, and we could probably stretch it out and kind of make it look okay, but it's still it's not it doesn't have stark enough sides and doesn't have anything going. So we're gonna do a rare thing that I've done on, that I don't do very often on the show. I'm gonna actually show you how to make some art here. So what we want is in in Star Wars, there's and in most movies, the laser effects will have a bright white center, and then they'll have a colored outside. And so we're gonna set that up right now. Um, we're gonna just set this back to white for right now. So. We're going to go into a editor of some kind. I use Pixelmator. It's a nice, cheap alternative to Photoshop. It does not do everything that Photoshop does, but it's good enough for what we're doing here. So I'm just going to make it uh, 32 by 32. It doesn't have to be high res. And we're going to zoom in on it a little bit just so it's easier to work with. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gradient tool, which most programs have this. If not, you can replicate it without too much difficulty manually. And we're going to make a line gradient. And actually, I'm going to start it kind of in here. And we're going to just do something about like that. I'm not going to make it perfect right now, but this will this will be a good start. And then what we're going to do is on the edges, I'm going to... Um, so I'd already set this gradient up. It's just white in the middle, red on the outsides, and uh, I'm going to. We'll just we'll just do this for right now. We're gonna save this, save as PNG, and I'm gonna call it Laser. So now we're gonna grab our new laser thing and drag it into our project, and we can just drag it actually onto our object here, and it'll update the material. Oh, it does, okay, it created a new material when I did that. That works. Okay, so we've got this laser material, and it's already set for particle additive. That's good. So, so now we've got something that looks a bit more like a Star Wars laser. Um, you could do more. You could kind of smooth out the outside edges. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but now you have your laser object. So, so all you need to do now is just to make it move forward. So, there's a bunch of different ways you could do this. Um, I think that we can actually even do it without any. Uh, yeah, I think we can do this without um, any programming, actually. Let's see. Oh, this is a constant force. No, we can't do it with this. Constant force is not what we want. We want an instantaneous force. Move component. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, all right, we'll just write a, write a real quick script for it. So create C-sharp script. Uh, move forward. I'm not calling it laser or anything because this will actually work on any object. And all we're going to do is wait for Mono Develop to finish doing whatever it's doing. I'm, I'm getting a little beach ball. My computer's thinking. Sorry I didn't have this open ahead of time. And what do we got here? Um, so all we're going to do is just move it forward in the update loop. And we're going to move it in its Z direction forward. So we will just do simply transform dot position plus equals. Uh, oh, we need a variable here. Let's do a variable real quick first. Public float speed. And we're going to make it equal to 1.0 f by default. We're going to up that. But... Um, so there we've got our speed, and all we're doing is transform position plus equals um, uh, transform dot whoops lowercase transform dot forward. I don't know why this isn't autocompleting. Uh, and then we're gonna multiply in speed and time dot delta time. And this should be all we need here. So if we just attach this to our, oh wait, speed does not, oh, I have too many E's in my speed. Speed! All right. So we just throw this on our little game object and when we hit play, you'll see that the laser very slowly goes out to the horizon. I'm gonna actually move the laser position because it kind of angles itself automatically. So we're gonna make it look a little bit more Star Wars like it, they almost always come from the sides in Star Wars. And that's too slow. So let's let's click on our object, inspector, make it go really fast. Let's do 100 and then hit play. There, we've got our laser. There's a little chop at the beginning there, but that's that's your laser right there. Hope that helps you out and thank you very much for your question. I, I know I didn't you didn't really ask me, but you asked Unity 3D, but I answered, so have a good day.